Hello, hi, I'm Maratib. I'm at the moment I'm talking from my office in Life Mastery Success, and uh, we are discussing today a very crucial, very important topic, and that topic is uh, is very uh, sensitive as well, uh, very much foundational for your success, and uh, also it will help to transform our our life in terms of uh, evaluating our thoughts our uh, uh, mental maps and uh, when we will be self aware about our real thoughts and uh, how we can make them correct uh, and at least better then we will be on the path of uh, success and uh, on peace as well so but this is a very much topic which is uh, relates to your whole life all roles of your life including your if you are a married person if you are struggling as an individual if you are a business person if you are having a difficulty or you are set on your on a uh, uh, as a working as an employee if you are working with any charity or organization uh, or uh, in any of the role how this is important because that topic which is the main title is are you victim uh, are you victim does it means that uh, because of that very victim thinking we we are not going forward our mental map and our spiritual connections they are stopping us to go forward because of uh, our that thinking that I'm I am victimized somebody is controlling me some person some company some group of people they are controlling me and uh, not even controlling they are suppressing me I am victim I'm absolutely have no power to do anything what actually I want to do so that victim that loser thinking is the topic of today and uh, this thinking actually is not uh, developing the mind overnight or in few days or few weeks is actually the way of your living uh, in a particular society uh, where your childhood your youth age your adult uh, life has been uh, spending in, in, as a part of nurturing and uh, that th very much thought we are taking from our parents our families our teachers unfortunately our society our media politicians uh, and celebrities or the social icons where in which we are living wherever we are uh, living in any part of the world but this victim thinking is actually a result of three main things three main things three key factors are in fact these are the vital factors that make our thinking as a victimize that I'm victim of something I can't do because of that that's that's and in this session I'm going to discuss only one thing and uh, let me tell you about three things number one that uh, I'm I'm feeling victim because of my nature of my skin color because of my language because of where I have born 
in any country. I'm victim because of my family background, because of my ancestors were born here, because I have been born in that type of culture, that I'm victim because I am, I have a very deterministic uh, lifestyle throughout my life since I born, since I was in childhood and then further going on. I'm victim because uh, I have not been facilitating lot of things, lot of uh, uh, privileges in the society. That is a second uh, vic uh, cause of the victimized thinking, uh, and uh, which is called environmental paradigm, in environmental determinism, and which tells you your environment actually form you. If you are in a bad environment or if you are a less privileged environment, if your parents are not good or less educated, if your teachers are not good or not really different, the, the current conditions are because of that thing. That environmental issue uh, is actually drifting you towards uh, a very, very uh, deterministic paradigm, which is uh, which is saying you that I am victim. I cannot go because I am victim. Something is controlling. I cannot do. And uh, here now, these uh, three thinking uh, or pattern, uh, which is creating, which is creating deterministic approach of mindset the number one which i mentioned you about our genes nature our race that's number one number two is uh, we call it psychic determinism and uh, which means your parents your teachers they behave you in the way you think that yes you are like this that is the second one and that's why you feel you feel victim victimization uh, type of uh, uh, process all the time going in your mind and your third victimized cause which i mentioned is environmental determinism and uh, which is mentioning that your low income is a very low that's why you are like this your your country policies are very bad your city is very bad your uh, politicians are very bad that's why you are like this and this is called uh, environmental determinism uh, it's very much very much vast topic uh, and uh, why you have this victim thinking uh, we will explain these three things in three different sessions. At the moment I am explaining you now the first part which is uh, genetic determinism and uh, which is uh, actually in our uh, mental root uh, roots they have and uh, but this is actually the good news is this is false but the first going towards solution we need to understand actually in in little and uh, deeper way uh, i'm not going in very deep because of short of time i um, i want to tell you about what does it mean it does mean that genetic determinism is telling you you are a victim because your grandfather your ancestors, your ethnicity is like that. Many people think that they belong to a certain descendant, 
that's why uh, he cannot go further or she cannot go further because of that connection with the descendants and that socially is projected on your mind on your body on your heart on your spirit and that's why you you cannot go forward you do not think positively because of that victimized thinking you are in clutches of these societal weather and that will not help you to get out from the problem of your life and uh, we need to work on this we need to be actually self aware in terms of knowing the true realities around us we have to kick out these type of social mirrors from which our childhood our youth our adult our marriage before our life before marriage or after marriage is not successful and this victimized thinking is constantly constantly pushing pushing away away from success away from peace away from many 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 uh, good things which we are meant to live by and why because of our mindset so it does also means that every country has a sense of superiority every nation is superior to other nation because of their race because of skin color because of language because of ancestors because of history and we cannot do because it's it's a ultimate decision i'm a product of my past i am a product of my genes i cannot do anything we cannot do anything we as a nation cannot have a sense of superiority because our past is very bad and our ancestors our forefathers our grandparents our ex people they have done this we cannot move forward this is a sick a very deterministic negative mindset is a greatest obstacle in today's life not only to get out from the conditions where we are in fact we are transferring this negative attitude and the wrong paradigms incorrect mental maps or misaligned disciplines into our next generations and our nations mostly part in the world are not going forward because of this absolutely bogus and baseless mindset which is only in result of our social mirrors we have been taught we have been conditions to think and act accordingly and that is the biggest mistake done my by myself and if we will not do this the way it should be no matter how much you will get the resources no matter how much you will be a rich no matter how much you will go in a best society in the world no matter you you will go is like a paradise town in the world anywhere you won't be a successful at all because the very much thought 
or paradigm or mindset is actually the problem. And you will remain have the feeling of victimization. And that victimization will never end. And that will grow and it will transfer to the next generation. It will be influenced to your family, friends and your circle of influence your circle of concern and you will be the source of laziness, lethargic, undisciplined people around you and yourself. It will affect your body. You will be whether very fat person, very lazy or you are disempowered by the things you will not have a passion in your uh, in your heart to do anything positively you will have a very poor relationship in your family and at your work workplace with your colleagues with your managers you will be no have sense of what is right and what is wrong because of poor spiritual intelligence you will get because of that victimized thinking. You will never have a power of choice to choose your response based on your passions of your life, your interest and your needs in the right way. You will not believe on the natural principles which is given by God to get success in any part, in any area of your life. Because of that wrong paradigm, because of that you, your forefathers, and you are part of that nation, you are part of that race, you are part of that culture, that will make you fail and fail and fail and that will go on. But the very much solution and the, the solution of this very much thought is a, is a, is a very much the way of the leadership development. The leadership development is emphasizing that you will have to be, you will have to be a set of positive thoughts and the correct paradigms from which you need to lead a life. I will come to a solution and uh, that solution will let you know about how to get rid of these baseless thinking which is in your society, which the group of people or yourself you have. And the idea how we are empowering, how myself is empowering the people to, to uh, come out of these delusions and bring the change in your life. Believe me, these are not the realities which we are thinking is the realities and we are just misguided and we are ignorant. Through the courtesy and virtues of coaching and leadership development trainings, it is possible in business world and on personal level that you can change your thinking pattern, your, you can correct your paradigms in regards to that you are not the part of nature. You are not the part of your genetic factor. You are not the part of your past 
of your grandfathers or grandparents or your uh, ethnic background. You are because of your choices you are making now. That is a secret. What you are now is the result of choices which you are making right now and you will make more choices wisely beyond this prejudice, beyond this biasness about yourself, this negative thought until you will not get rid of this, you will not move forward in your life. So we actually in a coaching or we call it in a life coaching, we help the people to make these things the way it should be based on reality, based on researches and based on success stories of many successful individuals and the nations in fact. Many nations, they have come out from these mindsets and they have corrected their vision of these things. And that's why they are very successful. That's why they have a longevity in their country. They live very long life. Many countries in the world, they have many areas in the, actually, excuse me, many areas in the world, in Japan, in India, in Australia, in UK, in Africa even, in some areas. They have high life expectancy rate. Happiest people, they live there, not because of they have full, they are very rich, not because of they, they have very good and very strong past in their countries or towns because of their choices which they make every moment of their life right like at the moment the choice to address you the choice to have a speech online is making my next moment is giving me the feeling of being successful person to helping you, to sharing a secret of life. Now, so we have to work on our very thought pattern that we are not the product of our past. We are not the product of our genes. We are product of our decisions which we make today. We are product of our choices which we will make today and every moment of life. Constantly, every day, day, night, evening, next day, every day we will make these choices and we will make these decisions based on on the idea of there is a space space between stimulus and response. Dr. Stephen R. Covey in his famous books The Earth Habit from Effectiveness to Greatness and also The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People is sharing a miraculous idea in our history, mankind known that where, where there is a stimulus, then you do response. But between stimulus and response, there is a space. And successful people, they need to create larger this space from here to here and here, 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 so that they can make many choices and they what the response they will make they should 
it sh that decision should be wisely and absolutely perfect. But failure people, failed people, or unsuccessful people, they always keep this space very minimum. Very minimum. That's why the disabled and children, they have very minimum space. This is between stimulus and response. But successful people have very large space, very large space. And because between these, there is a science, there is a thought pattern. There are dimensions which they have to consider in order to make this response but this response when you need to make this response and the stimulus needs to be approached this response through a, a very wise thinking through constantly sequential development constantly through imaginative positive thought through independent will through spiritual power and through amazing and very confident, integratiful life, then that response will be amazing. That response will be superb. And through the coaching, we enable the people's po potential in such a way that this stimulates when up gets to the response that response should be very very strong very intelligent very wiseful and very influential not only brings the positive in the person life but also the people which is in the circle of influence of that person and that is a success So if you want to enlarge this space in your life, in an, any role of your life, in any different issues or problems of your life, whether it's a health issue, whether it's a relationship issue, whether it's a emotional issue, whether it's, it's a career or business issue, or whether you are looking for job or you're looking for to, you are looking to earn a money or you want to become a millionaire or you want to establish a business so that very much basic idea between stimulus and response and with sequential achievement of these things which are imaginative imaginative power independent will spiritual power and passionate heart and lot of other things you can get the very good decision and that decision will not be based on any victimized thinking which was which is the topic of today that victimized thinking is is removed is totally finished if we will live the life like i'm telling you it's just a very, uh, very, uh, I, I have opened a, a secret of your life, of successful life. But how you will get in the depth wise, I will let you know. And we will help you as well. Uh, there are a lot of people who have done work on this thing. A uh, lot of organization in the world, they are working on this. There are a lot of uh, mentors and coaches they they know this idea and they are helping their people i'm one of them as well if you want to be in touch with me in this regard then you can visit our website which is www.lifemasterysuccess.com or my personal blog which is www.maratibalishad.com or you can email me on success at gmail.com and in the next session in the same continuity 
आर यू विक्टम पार्ट टू आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट साइकिक डिटर्मिस्ट डिटर्मिनिज्म एंड द नेक्स्ट पार्ट विल एड्रेस विद एनवायरमेंटल डिटर्मिनिज्म एंड दैट विल कवर द होल टॉपिक आई होप यू मे हैव लर्न अ वेरी valuable insights out of my discussion i'm just sharing with you you can google it you can read lot of books go to library search on this thing that are you part of any any past are you product of your genes are you product of your ancestors what they have done in terms of biology biological dimension in terms of their culture in terms of their or you are a you are a product of your choices which you will make now and every day or in in future based on wisdom which is a requirement of this age of 2017 and that age is information knowledge worker age which will which is going to be transformed into the age of wisdom are you ready for it so this question will leave a impression i believe a good impression on your mind before i'm going to close this session and i hope that uh, you like and you learn something but i also learned in these things uh, and if you have any idea you can share your thoughts as well my this video will be uploaded on youtube channel as well and you can share this your friends and family or if you are thinking any other person should watch this video then you can share as well thank you very much and i wish you a very greatest life Thank you